Okay, continuing to field more questions here for U.S. Similee. Ozaza within the Telegram group asks, what are the most overrated and underrated subjects that are studied for U.S. Similee? Which is a slightly unusual question because clearly you're going to need to know everything for the exam. So if we were to give you some value here and say, well, are there any subjects that people tend to spend too much time on slash not enough time on? Can you quickly comment on that? And the answer is yes, I can actually give you some definitive value that will help you out with your study plan here. So before we get started, allow to be an asshole like I usually am, tell you to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Help grow this channel, share with one of your friends prepping for your simile, help bring awareness to this channel. Hit the like button. Hit the bell if you want notifications. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Link is down below. And find me on Telegram. Recently created a Telegram group and channel. The links are down below. Now let me address the fucking question as far as are there overrated and underrated subjects that are studied for U.S. Simile? And I said I can give some concise value. Interestingly, it is my view that the most overrated, most overemphasized subject for U.S. Simile is still ethics slash communication, even though, yes, the exam is arbitrarily more catered to that now, okay? People tend to be freaking out about ethics and communication, and I've created a very fucking excellent high-yield ethics PDF that I'm linking down below, okay, in the description down below. So in order to slake slash quench students' general OCD for OMG, how do I study ethics and communication? I've created an excellent high yield document. But the caveat is, look, at the end of the day, the overwhelming majority of questions you get on communication slash ethics really are just EQ. Okay, you sort of just have to have a bit of understanding slash empathy. Don't fucking lie to patients. Don't hit patients, don't equivocate. You sort of just have to uh, have intuition and you can spend countless hours studying ethics. It's generally a waste of your fucking time, okay? My high yield PDF, very effective. So it might sound like I'm being a bit like contradictory here. If you choose to spend time studying ethics, you say, Michael, I don't care that you say it's overrated. I still want to look at ethics slash communication stuff. Great. Okay. Look at the PDF I linked down below. Now, if we talk about which subjects are underemphasized, I can, and this is actually a, a, a core piece of value here, I can definitively say it is endocrine. And some students might, might think that that's like highly surprising. They say, really? Like that's a, uh, I wasn't expecting that. Well, it's true because endocrine, when we talk about arrow questions, as well as how all of the hormones integrate across different organ systems, extremely high yield, and we can pack many points in not so extensive of a study period if you really hammer out your endocrine, okay? Knowing your aldosterone high and low, vasopressin high and low, okay? Uh, PTH, vitamin D, all the hypothalamic pituitary stuff, uh, renal failure, the arrows, DKA, the arrows, okay? And I've made some other clips talking about the importance of endocrine. And, but once again, you know, you're going to get closer to your exam. Every student's going to have his or her own unique strengths and weaknesses. You might really fucking suck at neuro, and that's what you have to patch up. But when we talk about making broad statements for most students, it is, to my observation, students tend to overemphasize communication ethics, and that doesn't require much study. The questions you get are largely going to be just intuition. And then the underemphasis tends to be endocrine, where students just don't really know to study it. But if they do uh, really learn their endocrine and the arrows uh, very well, they're going to get a significant score augmentation. Okay, you know the deal. I don't want to make these clips 37 minutes. I know you don't want that either. So I'm going to continue making more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.